Hello everybody, my name is Marco Valdez and Aperture is something that I struggled with whenever I first started photography. So this is probably the easiest way that I understood Aperture. Think of Aperture as your pupils. You go to a very bright environment, your pupils are very small. You go to a dark environment, your pupils get larger. So each lens is built differently. This right here is a 70 to 200 millimeter f2.8 lens. So the way that these lenses work is that they all have a different aperture range. For example, again, this is the f2.8 lens. The lower that you have your aperture set to, for example, while shooting this at f2.8, it's going to make the pupil within this lens get a lot larger, let a lot of light in, and on top of that, it is going to obliterate the background on your portraits. And ideally, that's what we all want with our portrait shots, right? We want to isolate our subject and have that nice, creamy, blurry background. But does that mean that you should always shoot at the lowest f-stop? No, not necessarily. For example, whenever I'm out and about shooting street shots, or if I'm doing architecture or landscape, I want my images to be tack sharp. So that's whenever I'm going to raise up my f-stop, bring it up to something like f8, f11, you could even bring it up to f22 depending on the lens. And that's going to cause that pupil within that glass element to get smaller and let less light in, but it will result in a much sharper image. So typically, whenever I get booked for portrait gigs, I try to shoot at the lowest f-stop possible. Whenever I'm out and about doing my own thing, I raise up that f-stop because I'm not focusing on a human subject. You know, and also, I'm more of a visual person. I like to see things in order to understand them. So I'm gonna show you a few images here that I have shot with my 70 to 200 millimeter at f2.8. Now notice how in these images, my subject is isolated and that background is completely obliterated. That's what a low aperture is going to do. Now with this photograph right here that I recently shot at Cadillac Ranch, if I would have shot this, at a lower f-stop like f2.8, then the grass would have been blurred out while the cars would have been sharp. So ideally, you don't wanna really shoot at a high aperture range when you're shooting portraits. That probably wouldn't give you the look that you wanna go for. And that's pretty much gonna go ahead and cover aperture. If you did enjoy this or if you did learn something from this video, make sure to go ahead and leave a like. Make sure to go ahead and let me know in the comment section down below on what else you would like for me to cover. What else am I forgetting? Huh. Oh yes, follow me on Instagram at Marco A. Valdez and feel free to also follow me on TikTok at Marco.A.Valdez. Apparently somebody already had my name. I think what I need to go do is find the person that took that name and really just give it to him. No, I'm just kidding. This would actually hurt a ton. There's a lot of glass in this. Okay, so that's gonna go ahead and cover for today's video. Guys, make sure to go ahead and stay safe. Make sure to wear your mask. Make sure to wear gloves. And I'll be seeing you in the next one. Have a great rest of your day.